today we're going to start in child's pose. And just allow your body to let you know how, which poses you should do, how you should feel, how much you want to take it as far as you like, or just make it nice and settled, nice and soft for you. Let's begin in child's pose today. Breathing in. We're gonna bend our knees. Nice and wide if you can. Try to make yourself comfortable. Remember you're at home, so make this practice your own practice again. Place a blanket maybe underneath your knees. If your knees tend to hurt a little bit, you can place a blanket or a block right underneath as well, underneath your hips for a little bit more support. Come out of the pose at any time, but let's just begin to rest and soften our heart right all the way over here, right underneath. So we're gonna lengthen our, our arms here and begin to rest gently as you place the forehead down in the mouth. Breathing in and softening into the pose as we welcome um, our morning, our possibilities are endless. So just begin breathing and bringing awareness to your breath, all the way internally, through the spine, through the vertebrae. If you want to bend your arms, bring your forearm, bending them nice, just like pillows, right underneath your head or your forehead. And you may place, again, your head right on top. So just rest here, opening up, and beginning to just rest your mind. Rest your thoughts, rest your breath. As you breathe in, begin to envision your whole spine, elongate it nice and long through the back of the neck. You're breathing in through the tips of your toes all the way to the crown of the head this morning. Enjoy the environment where you're at, even if it's at home right now. It's wonderful to be at home. It's wonderful to be outside, outdoors, enjoying the oxygen that's coming in through your nostrils. And gently it's coming out, maybe through the nostrils or maybe through the mouth as you sigh it out. I want you to notice how your heart softens and gets closer to the mat as you rest gently. Breathing in. And breathing out. Close your eyes, try to bring awareness. Try to make those thoughts that pass by, just make them clouds, they're passing by. Come back to your breath. You're here just to breathe deeply and move the body with the breath. I wanna thank you for coming and joining me this morning to start your Saturday, to start your weekend. Breathe in one more full breath. Try to listen to your breath and exhale, sigh it out. Releasing. You're here, healthy and present. Come into the mat. We're gonna gently extend our hands slightly to the right side. So bring that right hand and then the left hand goes on top of the right wrist. We're stretching and isolating that stretch on the left hip. As we bring that left hip down, we're rooting down, left cheek down, and just rest here. Can you guys hear me well? Yes? Okay, perfect. Just checking. Breathing in. 
Go ahead and begin to move those hands to the left side. Stretch it out and right cheek down. Coming back to center. begin to round your back nice and gentle we're gonna come into your tabletop so bring your chest forward your hands nice and aligned underneath your shoulders your knees hip width apart flat back inhale as you press through the feet, through the top of this feet, you're gonna arch and try to gaze up. Begin to awaken your spine. So shoulders back, try to touch with the shoulders, almost trying to kiss your hips towards the back. As you exhale, you round your back and bring the chin towards the chest. Arching your back. Being gentle as you press forward, you soften and open your heart towards the front of the mat. Try to move your prana, move your breath. Exhale, it's all linked in the spine. So let's move our spine. Pressing through the base of the fingers. Inhale, all the way up. Brightening your collarbones, and then exhale, chin to chest. Come back to neutral when you're ready. And let's just gently bring that right shoulder to the right hip, and then left shoulder to the left hip. Move at your own pace. And try to pull back if your wrist slightly hurt or if you're a little sensitive in the area, just pull back. You're slowly teaching your wrist about this movement. Extending your arms, your hands. Come back to neutral when you're ready. Breathing in. And we're going to gently cross our feet and come into a seated pose. Breathing in. So in here you can take it as far as you like as well. You may sit on a block for knee support or maybe on that blanket. Just try to bring those knees a little bit wide and try to stretch through the spine here. Breathing in. Try to feel like somebody's pulling you up from the crown of the head. Somebody's pulling you. Try to grow and then draw that navel in. We're going to bring this movement in our spine, in our belly button, throughout the whole class. So try to notice how this feels. You're going to tuck the pelvis slightly in by bringing that navel or belly button into the spine. And I want you to feel the ribs floating in, just with your lungs as you inhale. You may touch your ribs here as you inhale. Notice how they expand laterally out to the side. And as you exhale, notice how they come back to the midline of the spine. Inhale. And exhale. Hands back to the knees. One more time. Focus on your breath. Inhale. Coming all the way up through the spine. Up to the crown of the head. Filling up your entire chest. Holding it. For one. And exhaling softly through the mouth or through the nostrils. Notice the warm air coming out of your body. Inhale. Remembering that you are life. 
You are energy. This is all inside you. So breathe again. And breathing out. Just calming your nervous system and come into a more present moment. Extend your arms, open up your energy and bring it all the way up, hands together. Exhale, hands to heart center. Breathing in, open up. And exhale. As we're here, we're gonna gently bend our arms, our elbows, 90 degrees coming to your cactus arm. Abducting those fingers, engaging them nice and wide. Breathing in, inhale. And exhale, bring those elbows close to each other. Inhale, open up, slightly arching your back, lengthening through the collarbones, and then you exhale, round it up, elbows and wrists together as you round your back. Inhale, come on out. And then we exhale, procrastinating. We're slow, slowly and gently inhale, coming out. And exhale. Bring out your hands. We're gonna come into eagle arms. So we're opening up the shoulders and the shoulder blades. So pull those shoulder blades back and down. As you exhale, we're gonna bring the right arm, so I might be opposite of you, but bring that right arm underneath the left arm. You can try to face here or touch your arm, your wrist, the top of the wrist, right here, the top of the palm, as you inhale, if this is a little too much, you can stay right here, just grabbing opposite elbows. But if you're here with me, go ahead and breathe it all in. You can come all the way up, slightly touch those fingers, breathe in and bring those elbows up. Notice the shoulders, be gentle with your body. As you exhale, bring elbows towards the belly, draw it all in. Contracting those muscles, inhale, breathing in, and exhaling. One more time, inhale, try to gaze through the fingers, exhale, holding down. Come back to center, open up those arms, breathe it all out. As we exhale, we change up the arm. So the left arm this time goes under the right arm. Notice what feels good. And taking it as far as you need to this morning. Honoring your body, breathing in, breathe it up. Elbows high up. And exhale, fold. Breathing in. And exhale. One more time, breathe it all in. And exhale. Come back to center. Release those hands. Gently press them towards the knees and bring the right ear towards the right shoulder. We're keeping the shoulders nice and aligned or parallel with the mat, breathing in. Extending out that right arm out to the side. And then left arm out to the side. Breathing in. When you're ready, let's go ahead and place that right hand gently on top of the head as we press down. I want you to feel the breath as it travels through the torso. As you root down through the sit bones, through the pelvis, and you 
slightly gaze down, chin towards the chest. And just notice your body's thanking you for being here. Slightly gaze up. Come back to center. And then bring that left ear towards the left shoulder. Stay here with your hands on your knees or just begin to extend them out. So left arm extending out and then the right arm when you're ready. Breathing in. Try to draw that navel in. Swallow the navel in. <laughs> Breathing in. Lengthening the back of your neck as you release any stress through the shoulders. Release them into the earth, into the mat. And just let them go with your breath. When you're ready, place that left arm just lightly on top of the head. And you press down to feel the whole right side of the neck stretching through. Breathe in, heart open, and then exhale. Let that diaphragm come a little higher. Inhale, and exhale slightly. Just try to gaze slightly down. When you're ready, begin gazing up into the sky, into the clouds into the ceiling remember this is all internally so being expanding release from the pose come back to neutral and I'm gonna come back to the front of the mat <laughs> let's bring bend your knees and bring your feet forward you can place your hands behind you to try to support you here and let's gently bring both knees to the right side to the left side Breathing in, windshield wiper your knees from side to side. When you're ready, stay here or you can bring that um, right foot or right ankle on top of the left knee. Make this as active as you'd like, stretching your spine. If it's a little too much, just lower the left leg here. Or just keep it nice and bent, creating that figure four shape. Breathing in. As we inhale, we try to lengthen the spine. If your wrist hurt, you can just create some fists through the arm. Breathing in. And as we exhale, our chest tries to come a little closer to that right shin. Breathing in. Inhale. And exhale. Coming back down, release that right foot and switch it up. Left ankle on top of the right knee. Breathing in, lengthening. Lengthen the back of the neck. Try to grow tall here. And then as you exhale, come a little closer to that right thigh and left knee. Inhale. And exhale. Switch it up. And bring that left leg back down. Windshield wiper your knees. Move your spine, move your hips. And then let's cross our feet, come forward. And come back to your tabletop. Breathing in into your Golasana. Find your alignment here. If wrists are hurting, create those fists or just press slightly back. 
as we're here finding that alignment we're going to gently uh, begin to activate the core so bring that right knee out all the way out lengthen as we exhale knee to chest try to round up and push through the fingertips so the base of the fingertips go ahead come on out and release switch it up left leg up and back squaring the hips here so notice that left hip pushing back bring it towards the back of the mat as you exhale bring that knee to chest inhale push it back and release when you're ready switch it up right knee and right leg up and back maybe this time you lift that left hand and try to gaze forward gaze towards the horizon when you're ready activating the core draw that navel in exhale elbow to knee breathing in extend two more times exhale elbow to knee inhale and exhale high and full extension here breathe in release that left hand down and bring that right foot down breathing in forward and back when you're ready bring that left foot out to the left side coming into the left side body we're gonna gently press that foot back as you inhale and try to find your alignment through the arm gaze up towards that right hand coming into your half circle maybe side plank breathe again if you want to activate it a little more lift up that right leg nice and high maybe arm right hand or right arm goes overhead notice your breath it always has to be fluid come back to center release that back foot and release the right hand down bring that left foot in back into alignment and we're going to bring the right uh, foot all the way out to the side okay when you're ready you're going to walk your hands towards your hip if you're extending this right leg and you feel it's a little much on the hamstrings just bend so it'll look like this okay you're gonna support here or support with the right side I'll show it with the block in case you have a block but if you're extending all the way in so try to lift your arms we're gonna lift up our arms tuck the pelvis in and as you exhale take a side bend here be gentle with your body Notice if you have to bend that right knee and place the right hand on the block or on the thigh or all the way down into the shin. Breathing in, I want you to gaze up. Always looking up into the sky. Being hopeful and guiding your heart towards the brain, towards the top of the head and breathe through that left side body. Come back to center. Breathing in, exhale, hands to heart center. We're gonna release from the pose, palms down. Bring that right leg back in. When you're ready, stretch out the left foot. And when you're ready, bring the right foot out to the right side. We're gonna come to the right side plank or half circle. Some people call it side plank. <laughs> Breathing in, lengthening here. Maybe lifting up that left foot and left arm all the way over. Every pose can be as active as, as, active as you like. So flex that left foot 
and try to grow sideways here, breathing in. Gently release, left foot back down, left arm back. Breathing in. Bring that right foot in. The left foot comes all the way out to the left side, coming to our gate pose. Walk your hands. Be gentle, support the right knee, engage that right thigh. Remember, we can bend. I'll face you guys. We can bend that left foot or stretch it out. The main thing is to have those hips nice and squared. I'll place a block just to show and display it if you have blocks. Breathing in, inhale, open up. Come back to your breath. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more time, inhale, lengthen. And then we exhale, releasing that left leg all the way down into that, not in the knee, but into the shin or into the thigh. You're bending it. Or into the block, okay? Breathing in. We gaze up. And we bring that pelvis forward. Come back up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Breathing in. Turn around. Come back to your tabletop. So meet me back on tabletop. Just checking in on everybody. And then gently we're gonna tuck the toes and bring those hips high and back. The main thing is to lengthen the spine here. So lengthen when you're ready. Try to find alignment here through the fingertips, through the wrist, underneath, and align with the shoulders. Try to bend one knee, bend the other knee. And then just gently begin to walk towards the front of the mat. If you have that block, place it right in front of you or place your hands right by your shin. You can bend your knees as much as you like. And then you inhale, lengthen through the spine, through the back of the neck. Again, feel like somebody's pulling you up from the crown of the head, up and forward as you open your heart. And then we exhale, we peel the heart down Allowing the head to hang heavy. Bending those knees. Grabbing opposite elbows. And as we let the head hang heavy, we slightly rock from side to side. Rooting down through the feet. Inhale, release those hands, open them up, and bring them all the way high up. Breathing in. Looks like me back. Breathing in. And exhale, hands to heart center. Breathing. Bring your feet hip width apart here. And as you're here, I want you to activate uh, rising or try to lift those knees up bring that pelvis in draw navel in and engage the glutes towards the back of the knees here lift up all ten toes engage the bridges of your feet and then exhale release them down breathing in open up your arms lift them up high Allow the palms to kiss each other, and then we exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. And then when you're ready, we exhale. We're gonna plant our hands. Say hi to sugar. 
Okay, we're going to plant our hands and step the right foot back and then the left foot back. Bring your knees down, chest, and then chin together. Inhale up into your cobra. Breathing in here. Allow the arms to gently come down into that cactus shape. So the same 90 degree angle. Allow your forearms to support you here. So your triceps nice and down, pressing firmly through the knuckles and through the fingers. Feel like somebody's pulling you forward, not up, forward. Rottening the collarbone, expanding through the shoulders. Lift up right, the right leg, breathing in and then release. Left leg, lift it up, and release back down. When you're ready, bring your hands together behind you. We're gonna interlace them, and bring your heart up, nice and high. And then we exhale, we fold, bring it up. Pelvic floor muscles pressing down into the grass or into the floor. And then we exhale. Release your hands underneath your shoulders and press it back into child's pose. Just like we, how we started. Hips towards the heels. You can keep your knees nice and bent if you don't want the stretch to be on the hips. Allow it to be on the spine forehead down or the top of the head down and arms towards the back of the mouth palms facing up breathing in as you're here I want you to try to grab your feet or somewhere along your legs as you inhale, come into the top of the head and lift up your hips. So try to grab and keep hold of the feet through the hands. Find that contraction through the shoulders. Notice how they're pulling you back as your heart pulls forward. Exhale, hips back down. And then arms lengthen forward. Come back up, round it up. Back into tabletop. Tuck the toes and hips high up towards downward facing dog. You can bend your knees as much as you like. Just remember that the main thing is to lengthen the spine. Try to keep elbows facing each other. Inhale, lift up the heels high up. And try to breathe through the fingertips. Exhale, heels back down. When you're ready, gaze up, bend your knees. Inhale, step the right foot forward. Come into your low lunge, breathing heart up. Release the back knee. Find your alignment in the front leg. So notice where the knee is, nice and aligned with the right ankle. Breathing in, find your support if you need those blocks. They're supporting your hips. Again, your hips don't have to be all the way forward, they can just be right here. Breathing in. So again, if you're on your low lunge, your hips can be nice and high here. Breathing in. And then if you feel comfortable, try to bring them down. As you root down through the feet here, your arms come into the thighs, your hands, and you breathe up, tuck the pelvis in, draw the belly in. 
breathing in. And then we exhale, we plant our hands down and we'll push it back, lengthen that right leg. Coming to half split. I want you to breathe deeply. The more we do this, the more we stretch our legs and we find that flexibility to each body. Breathing in. As you exhale, plant your hands, come back forward and step the right foot back. Downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana, rock it all the way high up. Breathing in. And when you're ready, gaze up. I want you to bring those sit bones high up. Arch your spine as you can. And then bring your left leg all the way forward. Slowly and gentle, hard up. Anjaneyasana, and then we exhale. Bring that right knee back down and tuck the back foot. Breathing in, find that alignment. Again, your hips can be right here. That's perfectly fine. Notice that your body doesn't hurt and then you're slowly opening up the body. It all comes through practice. Our bodies are intelligent. So go ahead and press your palms down into the thighs, breathing in. And exhaling. Releasing the hips down as your lungs, your shoulders, the back of the neck grows nice and tall. And then you exhale, you plant your hands or your fingertips and you try to push it back. Engage the core as you bring those hips back. Squaring the hips, gaze slightly forward. Breathe in, lengthen. As you exhale, fall down. Think of what you're doing, of what you can do, not what you can't. Breathe in. Your body allows you to stay healthy, so breathe in. As you exhale, bend that left knee in and forward. Plant your hands. Step it back this time, downward facing dog. Shift forward. Maybe try a little high plank or you can bend your knees. Breathe in. As we exhale, bend knees, chest, and chin. Elbows in. Breathe in, high into cobra. Exhale. I want you to bring those feet into the corners of the mat. Inhale, lengthen, plant through the palms. And rise up. Exhale, fold down. Gently, we're going to bend our knees, come back into your balasana, into your child's pose. Rising up, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. And then gently bring that right foot towards the front. Pivot the back foot, let's work on strengthening our legs. Again, you can stay here or come on up when you're ready into warrior two. If this is too much on the leg, just lengthen the front leg. If you wanna be here on your warrior, finding that strength, try to gaze up. Arms in line with the ears. And try to gaze forward here, tuck the belly in. Swallow the navel in and up, breathing in. As you slowly open up, open up your arms, right arm forward. You pivot the back foot to warrior two, gazing towards that right middle finger. Find the alignment on the right knee. Notice that it's not coming in. Push it back, breathe in. And gently bring that right 
or forearm into the thigh and lift up the left arm. I want you to breathe deeply here. You can do it. Inhale, come back up, straighten that right leg to release a little bit of the tension. Bring the back foot slightly in and we're gonna come into our extended pyramid pose. So try to extend back and bring those hips back. As you exhale, bring that right hand into the shin or into a block. And again, you can bend the knee to modify the pose for you. Breathing in, inhale. I want you to notice how you lengthen the lower part of the torso. Try to bring space to your thoracic cavity. Gazing forward, not forcing the neck. Maybe hands forward, engage the core. Micro bending that right knee. And then inhale, come all the way up, warrior two. As we exhale, windmill the hands back down, nice and gentle. And when you're ready, step the right foot back. Let's move through our vinyasa, which makes us nice and strong. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, plant your hands, plant your knees, chest and chin. Inhale, high up into your cobra. Maybe try to lift up your hands. When you exhale, you plant your hands. Push it back through child's pose. When you're ready, you can stay there or come on up into downward facing dog. Inhale, try the opposite side, left foot forward, pivot the back foot. Stay here or come on up, swaying your hips forward, protecting the back knee as you engage. <laughs> there you go, perfect, sugar. <laughs> Breathe in, arms, hand up, high up. Root to rise here, so you root down through the feet. And you open up to warrior two. Feel the movement. Again, you can straighten that back or that front leg. Breathing in, push the front knee out to the side. And when you're ready, bring your forearm down into the thigh. Stay here or open up, lengthen. Arm up. Maybe forward arm, right in line with the ear. Breathe in, come on up, straighten that front leg and bring that back foot slightly in. As we gaze forward, we try to reach with our hands to grab something. And then we push our hips back, especially the right hip. So we're opening our hips to the right side, externally rotating the hips. As we exhale, plant or try to bring that left hand towards the shin or towards that block. You can bend that left knee, okay? Try to start gentle with your body. Breathing in and pressing through the outside edge of the back foot. You're pressing through that back foot. Micro bending the front leg or the front knee. Breathing in. Opening up through that right side body. This is a wonderful pose to release so much stress that is all stored in our lower back. As we reach forward, we find our highest expression. And then we come on up, warrior two. And then we windmill our hands back towards the front of the mat. 
Good job, guys. Plant the right knee. Step the left foot back. And then meet me back on your favorite child's pose. So either closing your knees or opening them nice and wide for your hips. So we, if we open them, we stretch the hips. If we close them, we stretch the back. Breathing in. I want you to get to know your body. Forearm, maybe bending, and then forehead down. Just bringing more gratitude to each breath. Breathing in. And breathing out. When you're ready, I want you to release, or you can stay here. But release from the pose, come back to tabletop, tuck the toes, push it back, and walk your feet towards the front. Inhale, halfway up. We're micro bending those knees to not overstretch. Always keep keeping in mind the health of your body. With patience, everything comes, so slowly release. Fall down. Tanasana. Bring your feet together. Inhale, hinge at the hips and come on up into chair pose. We're tucking the pelvis in and we're lengthening through the tailbone, which is right here at the end of the spine, all the way up into the crown of the head. As we exhale, hands to heart center, stretch your legs, breathe in, and again, engage here, engage the thighs. Make the arches of your feet nice and active, and you're growing nice and tall, high up. Hands to heart center, softening the shoulders, the neck, the ears, breathing in. When you're ready, gonna I'll face you guys, but we're gonna work on a little bit of balance. So coming to your tree pose, bending that right knee out to the side, hands can come to your hips. I want you to notice that you're engaging that left thigh. This becomes your tree trunk. Breathing in. If you're opening and you feel comfortable, go ahead and bring that right foot into the calf not into the knee, just into the calf, or all the way up. If this is where you're at today. Be gentle, don't force anything. Bring your hands to your hips. And then maybe hands to heart center. Try to find that force, that strength through the left thigh. And then notice the energy through the palm and through your right foot. All aligned. Inhale, open up nice and wide and up. Hands high up. And then maybe we gently release that right hand down. And we slightly take a bend or a side bend. Come on back up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Release the right foot down and shake it off. Good job. Breathing in. Okay. When you're ready, let's try the opposite side. So left knee out to the side. Engage that bridge through the right foot. Right thigh. You square your hips towards the front, elbows back. And if you wanna try it a little bit higher up, you stay here on the calf or up. Breathing in. And breathing out. Hands to heart center. Open. 
Maya. So through this balancing process, we always got to look at one focal point. This is called our dristi. So if you look at one spot that's not moving right through your horizon or maybe in the floor to start off, you try to activate your gaze, slightly moving it higher and higher every time you do it. Maybe release that left hand down, slightly side bend. Whoops. Falling. <laughs> Try it again if you pause. Come back up and exhale, hands to heart center. Good job, bring it back down. And gently we're gonna move our feet out to the side. I'll face you guys. So you're in front of the mat. We're gonna sit down in some squat. So slowly bring your hands to heart center and begin to sit down through the hips, bringing them lower or underneath your shoulder, releasing them here. Try to support through the hands. If you have a thick book or just that block, you can sit on it or you just stay nice and engaged here. If you're here, pressing those elbows back, breathing in. Finding that contraction between the elbows and the knees as you lengthen and you open your heart forward. Exhale, plant your hands and bring your hips high up. Pivot your feet in. Breathing in, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center. We're gonna come into our eagle pose. I'll face you guys. Bringing that right, just like we did on tree pose. So we're gonna bring that right foot into the opposite side of the left foot. I want you to touch where your feet are coming in, right here, contracted. Or if you can come a little bit forward, bring that right thigh, bending that left knee, bring that right thigh on top. I'm trying to wrap it here. If you're here, left arm underneath the right arm, finding your alignment. I'll repeat it right here. And when you're ready, lengthen your left leg. Bring that right knee out, slowly and gentle. Press that right foot back. And pivot at 45 degree angle. Square your hips towards the front. Inhale, elbows up. Exhale, folding down. You don't have to bend that knee. You can keep it nice and long. Inhale. And exhale. Come on up. Open up your arms. And then exhale, hands to heart center. Pivot both feet out to the right side. So your feet are parallel here. And then we pivot the feet out, so the toes out. As we're here, we're gonna come into some strengthening pose, but being slowly and steady with the body. As we exhale, we're gonna bend our knees into goddess pose, bringing your hips forward. And then bring your hands to heart center, breathe in and breathe out. Hands to your knees. Exhale, right shoulder down. Take a twist, gaze towards the left. Breathing in, come back to neutral, come back to center. Exhale, left side down. Breathing in, come back to center. And then stretch out your legs. Pivot your feet towards the front. I want you to notice here where you're at. Bring your feet slightly closer. 
your arms can grab opposite or your hands can grab opposite elbows or you can come into hands to prayer if you would like to try to do it in the back you can do the same our goal is to get here to the back so notice where you're at as you micro bend that left knee so engage it we exhale we fold forward and we bring that right hip back left hip back you can bend that left knee if it's too much stay here or release your arms down breathing in lengthening the spine and exhaling breathing in high up and lengthening exhale pivot the back foot bend that left knee in and bring that right knee down we're going to come into half pigeon pose bring the foot behind the right wrist or let the knee the front knee behind the left wrist so the foot behind the right wrist breathing in you can stretch out the leg here you don't have to just bend your knees here and square your hips towards the front if you have that blanket in handy or a pillow or a block you can place it underneath your left hip to support you and square those hips towards the front we're flexing that left foot in, protecting the knee. If we're stretching the back leg, we're pointing those toes towards the back, breathing in. And we gently fold down, rewarding ourselves for this practice, grabbing opposite elbows and folding down into this amazing pose that allows us to release the leftover thoughts, the leftover things that we don't need, we can release them here. Anything that doesn't serve you, this is the time to let go with your breath, to be mindful and bring more peace into your life. Internally, you can be at peace. The environment is changing. You can still be at peace, breathing in. And breathing out, allowing the forehead to come into the forearm. Be gentle with your body. Notice what it means today. It might be different than tomorrow, than yesterday. Inhale when you're ready. Bring those hands underneath your shoulders to push high up. And then we're gonna come back into our tabletop. Just what we know. So bend both knees flat back and push it high up. Walk your feet towards the front, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, hands to heart center. So this time we're gonna come into eagle pose, the opposite side hands to stabilize elbows back bring that left knee out to the side and the left foot in front of the right foot engaging that right thigh breathing in maybe bending it as your left thigh comes forward you can stay here or bring your hands to heart center breathing through you're nice and strong I'll show it here just in case. We're doing the opposite side. So right elbow down. Notice how it is the opposite. Arm to balance. Breathing in. You're nice and strong. When you're ready, begin to release from the pose. Stretch high up. You can do this. And step the left foot back as your heart comes forward. You stretch sideways and then you step that left foot back. Pivot the back foot, inhale, elbows up. Exhale. Remember, you can stretch that right leg. Don't force, don't hurt your body. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Inhale. 
inhale. Come on up, stretch that right leg. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Bring your hands to your hips. We're going to uh, come into the left side this time. So this time we're going to do the same, nice and strong. But this time we're going to keep our feet hip width apart. So I'll face you guys. Your feet are together. Breathing in. Hands on your hips. Gaze up. Exhale, fold. Hands down to support you. Inhale, halfway up. You can bend your knees here. Always find that adjustment for your body. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Hands on your hips. Lengthen the spine. And then we exhale, come all the way up. Pivot towards the front of the mat. Taking care of the left hamstring. We're strong here, so find where you want to be here, where your shoulders, grabbing opposite elbows, maybe in the front, or maybe hands to heart center. As you square your hips and bring that right and left hip back, you breathe in, you lengthen the spine and you grow forward as you peel and you relax your heart down. Breathing in. Bend that left knee if you need. Breathing in. Micro bending that front leg and releasing your hands down to support you. Breathing in, left hip grows towards the back. And you exhale, fold. Breathing in once again. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees. Meet me down into the mat. And come into the left side pigeon pose. Left knee behind. Again, bending your knees and your legs. Or stretching it nice and back as you flex that left foot. Breathing in. Slowly exhale. And I'm sorry, I think I'm doing the opposite side, so let's switch it up. Because <laughs> I was facing forward. <laughs> so bring that right knee forward. <laughs> Breathing in, flexing that right foot. We're taking care of the right hip here, squaring it. And when you're ready, allow your heart to come down into the forearm, breathing in. And breathing out. Stay here for a few more minutes. Breathing in. Slowly and gently push through your hands, through your arms, come on back up. And step the right knee back down. As you're here, we're going to bend and cross your leg and come into your seated pose, stretching the leg, breathing in. You can find a blanket underneath your knee or maybe sit your hips on a block. This is too much for you. Go ahead and rest back. Breathe in. Chin parallel to the mat, hands on the thigh. Tuck the belly in. And try to soften through your heart, through the lungs, through the space between the ribs, 
into the spine. Humble your heart towards the brain, towards the crown of the head. As you inhale, open up your hands all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Try to fold slowly and gently, allowing your hands to rest and to support you at the same time. As you inhale, lengthen your heart up. And as you exhale, you try to fold a little deeper. Try to feel like somebody's in the back. Like if I would be pushing you in the class a little bit deeper through your low back, you're extending your spine. And you're exhaling, releasing, and feeling what your body can do as you practice a little deeper. Inhale, come on back up. When you're ready, bend your knee. Try to sit between your sit bones and your tailbone. Lengthening here, you can stay here and just lift up your heel. If this is good for you, maybe you come and lift up one leg, the other knee or the other leg into your half boat pose. Grabbing here nice and strong, knees together. Lengthen. And then as we exhale, we release gently down into the mat. Adjusting ourselves, adjusting the mat if you need to, like I do. Breathing in. Bring both of your knees close to your chest. And release them back down. Bring your feet hip width apart. Try to pet, press through the palm. And shift your hips high up. Bringing your shoulders a little closer. And exhale, release them. One more time, inhale, lift up, chin away from the chest. And then we exhale. Good job, guys. Bring that left knee all the way out, lengthen, or the left leg, and the right knee comes in. As you interlace your fingers, you try to flex your feet, breathing in, squaring right, your hips and the right hip down. Tailbone grows towards the heels. And you soften your heart as your knee comes into the left side. Take that twist. You can place a block right underneath your right knee. And then maybe begin stretching into your cactus arms, just like we did before. Opening up, releasing the shoulder back. Try to stack that right hip on top of the left hip. And then come back to center. Bring your knees together, hug it in. Give yourself some love. And then exhale, stretch out the right leg. Flex your feet, breathing in as you inhale. You lengthen and try to get higher with that left leg left knee as you exhale we take that twist towards the right side open up cactus arms engaging allowing the right eye to come a little bit more towards the left side we soften as we find gratitude, resting our body down into the mat, close to the earth, just breathing in and breathing out. Being mindful, gently bring that left knee in and right knee in. Go ahead and rest your knees nice and wide into your Supta Baddha Konasana. Your feet are gonna come close to each other. 
but allow the heels to just be away from the pelvis and from the hips. Allow that to come gently into the body. Maybe you have some blocks, some books, some pillows that you can place them on the outside of your knees. Breathing in. Allowing that right hand to come into your heart, left hand into your belly, breathing. Noticing the ribs, how they elevate and they get closer to the heart and to the neck and to the brain. And you exhale, releasing any toxins out of your body. You inhale, you breathe in a little deeper. And then you exhale, you sigh it out. Go ahead and gently release those hands and stretch out into your Shavasana. Lengthen your legs. Breathing in and breathing out. Try to notice the space in your mid spine, your thoracic spine, and try to bring it closer to the mat. We're softening the shoulders away from the ears. Palms are facing up. And you breathe deeply. Closing your eyes, resting here. Breathing in. I want you to find three things that you're grateful for today. Maybe for this time. Think of the first thing you're grateful. Breathe in. With a grateful heart. Being thankful for your health, for your peace. Find what you're grateful for. Inhale. Think of the second thing you're grateful for. Family. Inhale. Your third thing. And exhale. You may stay here on your Shavasana a little longer. Don't let me interrupt. But gently, if you want to meet me on your fetal pose, we're going to bend to the right side, bending our knees, bending our elbows, feeling rested, feeling comfortable and safe. In our relaxed bodies, relaxed minds, push yourself gently and come on back up. Meeting me on your easy pose, your seated pose. Breathing in. Inhale, open up. Exhaling, hands to heart center. Inhale. I'm thinking of the last thing I'm grateful for is this class. Thank you guys so much for practicing today with me. Stay safe, stay grounded, and stay positive. Namaste.